So that was pretty good. We pulled a hollow fountain from a $10 fat pack. Here, Eldritch Moon is a very good set. I think there is value in Eldritch Moon. You have a rare Collective Brutality at about $20, $24. And Liliana of the Last Hope is still $30. I believe Emrakul is next at $10, but for the most part, you don't want your cards to be mythics. Uh, you don't want your most valuable cards expected values to be mythics because mythics are very hard to get. I feel like the Hollow Fountain pull on the Dragon Maze was pretty close to mythics. Because that was one in every... I mean, that was a very good pull. Here we have the security device, which has a lot of value. The box... I like this box a lot. The artwork is very good. So I do expect the box to have some value, depending on the age of a box. It could be anywhere between $10 to $15. So off we go with Eldrick Moon. We're obviously hoping for Liliana of the Last Hope. And there's another one. It's a Bedlam Reveler is a $4 or $5 card. Did not see that coming. That would have been an excellent speculation. So here we go. This cost, I like the purple. This booster fat pack cost $20. Let's just say it's 19 dollars And we were able to make our value back from the $10 Dragon Maze one. But here it's going to be a lot harder because we need to pull Collective Brutality or Liliana of the Last Hope. Prey Upon. You can actually see like Vampires, Hunted Dead, so there is a foil here. No, actually, I forgot about this. There are flip cards. That's why it feels like there's a foil. There may not be. Ride Down, Selfless Spirit, Extricator of Sin. I believe this is worth $3, $4, so not a bad start. We need, I mean, that's actually not the best. That's pretty good, pulling a free $4 card. He is very good in spirit decks. This has rotated out. You should be able to find these packs, these boxes for under $30, fat, thir these fat packs for under $30, which is not bad if you want to gamble a little bit. Murder, Stitcher's Graph, and Angler. So you also get the token. So that one is not the best. Man, we're really hoping to get Tamiyo is only $5. Tamiyo is too many different colors, but see, is a good speculation in my opinion. I would be interested. At $5, I see it as a very good gamble. Planeswalkers are just not unique anymore. It's just too many of them. Shreds of Sanity, Ride Down, Gorgers, and Oath of Lily. One of my favorite cards in Magic Duels. And Prowler. And a Foil Waxing Moon. Which is not the best. Moon Mist. I mean, it's kind of interesting. When you talk about Moon Mist from original Innistrad, it's kind of pricey for what it is. All right, so we have about $4 of value and free packs. Opening packs, especially older packs, you're always pretty much going to get hosed. Morning Willow. Crusader, it's blue. There are no... I, oh, that's not a good one. Identity Theft. Or Thief. I believe this was the game day promo. I do wish they would make better game day promos. When Restoration Angel was the game day promo for Avacyn Restored, a lot more people showed up that day because it was actually worth some money. Let's see. Campaign of Vengeance. Faith Unbroken, one of the best. Oh, so it's red. There are no, maybe the Bedlam is $4, but there are not that many good red cards. Liliana's Elite. Assemble Alphas. Hmm. 
Whenever assembled alpha blocks or becomes blocked by a creature, assemble alpha deals free damage to that creature and free damage to that creature's controller. Kind of meh. So we have four more packs to try to get Lily or Collective Brutality or a combination of Emiko and something else, which is also... Algic Moon, I mean, on the surface, it looks like it would be a good set. Maybe I just got unlucky. I think the math calculates correctly because Collective Brutality is a rare. And that really helps the ability for you to break even. Because all you have to do is hit that one rare. And it's not even a mythic. Uh, Insatiable Gorgers. Fairy Blade Vampire, Security Laboratory, Elder Deep Fiend. This was one of the pricier cards when it first came out. Very good in control. I remember seeing it on the Pro Tour and on various deck lists. I like the. Uh, I, I definitely like the Emerge. That was a great. That was a pretty good set. Oh, good mechanical ability. It is really late at night. <laughs> so we have three more packs to go grab something of value. Campaign Vengeance. I think this is worth a few dollars. Uh, it deals free damage to target creature or player. If that creature would be dealt damage. So it's like Incinerate, actually. Abundant Maul. Grim Flare, which I believe is worth a few dollars. I don't remember what he is today, but this was a $20 card and would have people were expect they were expecting it to replace Tamagoyf. Only problem was Tamagoyf was no good anymore. No one's playing Tamagoyf when you can play Death Shadow. So I, for I totally forgot what he did, so I'm going to put that aside. But this is our first mythic. So it's a 2-2 two, two for 2 human. Oh, you might be able to play this in a human deck. Trample, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of your library. You may put any number of them into your graveyard and arrest in the back so it's graveyard. Delirium, it gets plus two, plus two, and as long as you have four. So it becomes a four, four trampler that whenever it deals combat damage, you get to pseudo brainstorm. It's not bad. Maybe it's, I'm pretty sure it's not worth that much anymore. But it was one of the go-to cards that you really wanted to get. Whispers of Emical. This was one of the most annoying cards because of the death touch. Ride down number, like, I think it's a whole place that ride downs. All right, let's slow row it. It's red, so that's not a good color. Harmless Offering. This was a very cute cat. And I'm a... This type of ability will always be semi-valuable. I remember that goblin that was a game day foil, and that one was not that one was not bad. All right, we need to hit. I think if we hit Emiko, we can break even. Dryad. Ooh, this would have been a very good. This would have been very good had it been in standard. You have the Graph Wid Widow and the Grim Flare. I think the Grim Flare is still worth some money. I know this is worth $4. I don't think this is worth any money. It is a legendary spider, so you might say, oh, well, eventually maybe someone will make a spider deck. That's kind of far fetched. So <laughs> I don't think we broke even. I think we came close. Uh, you're, you're looking for Collective Brutality or Liliana of the Last Hope. If you don't hit those, you're just looking for foils. This card, if this had been in standard, we would have hit. I think this was like 15. And this might have been 25 at one time. We would actually have hit over the value, which would have been really good. And that's kind of like opening these old boxes, especially right after rotation. The old box doesn't go up, go down in price. The fat pack goes up in price, but the card expected card values go down in price. I think this is a good set. I've seen it on Dave and Adams and online for $25 with discount. And I do feel like you can get there because one of the rares is worth $24. And that kind of makes up the whole pack and then everything else you get kind of for free. But I am glad I got this dude.
I probably would do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway on all the cards. So leave me a comment below with like how you guys want to do it. So yeah, let's kind of give these cards away. I don't really have a use for them. Probably like obviously Hollow Fountain is the most useful. I got to think of a contest and we'll do this contest as soon as my Liliana of the Veil contest. I don't I want to get a contest format where I live stream it. And there's like a set time where we do the drawing and we do it live and it's therefore it's all fair. So I'm going to keep these on the, to the side and we'll raffle them off a little later. I don't know if I want to raffle them in two fat packs and random. I think the Hollow Fountain is the only valuable one. I could be wrong about the. The more I think about it, the more I think this is actually kind of at least $10. I know there's no $20 card outside Lily and Collective Brutality. But I know Emiko is 10 and I'm not sure how much play and he is a human and five color humans is a deck and they don't run him but it's a possibility anyway that's it bye guys